The method of boiling individuals alive has been employed across diverse cultures and historical epochs. In the Middle Ages, boiling alive became the prescribed method of execution for individuals involved in counterfeiting, swindling, and coin forgery. Even as recently as 1687, an individual faced the punishment of being boiled alive for aiding coin forgers who had escaped. In 1222, farmers grew upset with the bishop's forceful approach to collecting tithe payments. Reportedly, their discontent led to boiling both the bishop and a monk named Serlo. In 1321, William de Soule was accused of practicing sorcery and associating with malevolent spirits. As a consequence, he faced the gruesome punishment of being boiled alive at Nine Stain Rig. In 1531, England enacted its ninth statute, establishing the punishment of boiling alive for the crime of murder by poisoning. This originated from the 1531 event when Richard Ruse, the cook serving the Bishop of Rochester, administered poisoned porridge, resulting in the death of two individuals. Between 1980 and 2000, Militants of the Shining Path in Peru were responsible for the deaths of approximately 31,000 people. Shockingly, some victims were reported to have been murdered by boiling, illustrating the extreme brutality employed by this Maoist guerrilla group. Furthermore, the government of Uzbekistan, under the leadership of Islam Karimov, faced allegations of boiling suspected terrorists. This disturbing practice was indicative of the severe human rights abuses associated with the Karimov regime. Former ISIS commander Abu Abud al-Raqqawi revealed ISIS's brutal execution methods, including boiling prisoners alive in engine oil. This horrific practice was described as a form of punishment, with specific reference to victims being burned in wood-fueled fires before being thrown into boiling oil. In the 2010 documentary El Sicario Room 164, a masked sicario claimed that Mexican cartels use boiling in oil as a method of execution for those suspected of working for the police.